and thank you for watching. In this video, I'm going to unbox and review Varsity Alejandra Luna. Now, I was super curious about this doll because she had a lot of interesting pieces, but I wasn't sure how it was all going to come together. But then the doll herself looked really beautiful. I don't know. So let's take a closer look at this doll and see what I got. This is the shipper for Varsity Alejandra Luna Dressed Doll, part of the New Face Collection from the 2021 Integrity Toys Virtual Convention Obsession. So let's get this shipper open. And look, they've got some damage here to my shipper, but that's why we, they ship it in shippers to protect your box. See, shippers, aha, very handy. So thank you, Alon, for these easy to open shippers now. And let's see if we can get this box out nicely. And look, we've got this tissue paper. You didn't hear that box drop. I was trying to be discreet, but you know, hey, it keeps it real. So let's see. Oh, this box is so beautiful. Look at how the light gets captured in there. What I love about this box is that it has the reflectiveness, but it doesn't capture everything that you're trying to hide with your camera. So this is really, really cool. And I think I may try to repurpose this box or these boxes for maybe diorama purposes or something. I don't know. I'm going to look into it. Really good job, Alon. So anyway, I want to show you the sides of the box where it says Obsession event exclusive fashion doll and it also says that on the top of the box as well as well as on the other side so enough about this box let's see if i can get it open and very cute oh look at her very pretty Pretty. Let's go in. Wow. I was very curious to see what they were going to do next with the Alejandra sculpt. Because this is the only, I believe, the second Alejandra that we've seen. And I am liking what I see so far. And it looks like she's got a functional zipper. What? What? That's a good detail. And the stitching looks pretty cool on the jacket. I'm just going to scroll down a little bit so we can see her little baseball-inspired shorts. And then looks like we've got... Oh, those are the top of those boots. I can't wait to get those. Oh, the goodie box here. And you can see those boots peeking out, which I've seen in the promo pictures. Look really, really hot. And it looks like she comes with two sets of feet. So what I am going to do is I'm going to remove this doll from the liner so that we could take a closer look at this doll and everything that comes with her. So here's a close-up of Varsity Alejandra Luna. Her head sculpt is the Alejandra head sculpt and her skin tone is listed as Hungarian. Her hair color is listed as dark blonde. It does not look like she is compl- it looks like she has a lot of hair, but it doesn't look like she is fully fully rooted so i don't think i would take this hair down if i were you as you can see she also has the applied lashes and i'm actually going to go in so that we can really see her face and her screening and she's very pretty and can i go in a little more for those eyes no that's about as close as i can get very pretty and nicely done. I, I was a little bit nervous about how the stitching would be with the hair and doesn't look like mine's is done badly at all, but it's really nice. I love seeing those applied lashes. Also, as you can see, the top of her ponytail is tied with her own hair and I'm going to pull back so that you can see it is a very long, beautifully curled ponytail. Very, very nice. Now I'm gonna turn her around again. I want you to see that she is on the New Face 3.0 body. 
on this jacket is actually a looks like it's a functional zipper so I'm actually going to see if I can unzip it so we can see what this blouse looks like underneath I get a little, I like the, the the real zippers but I also get a little bit nervous because I get scared that I'm gonna break something if I could get it down it looks like I'm gonna need a little bit of YouTube magic so I will wait for that but I actually ooh, look at this I don't mean to be little Kim but ooh, look at that very very pretty all right so I'm going to show some detail on that in just a bit but I also want to show you that she comes with a certificate of authenticity which shows that she has an addition size of 1300 so these are the items that you receive with Varsity Alejandra Luna. So I'm gonna go in first on the jewelry. And as you can see, it's like two hoop-ish earrings, but they've got those little detail. Look at that, is it like a little pearl or something detailed? It's very cute. And then she also comes with a couple of rings. In addition, she also comes with a pair of grip hands. And she also comes with this really cool sack lunch looking purse. And it's meant to be like a sack lunch that you would bring like to the baseball game. And as you can see that the little studs on the bottom. Another piece I wanted to show you is this visor that she comes with. And as you can see, it says 82. I wonder what the significance of that number is. But as you can see, it is a visor and the back has it so that a ponytail or whatever hair that the doll has can stick out from the little visor cap. Also, this set comes with an extra set of legs, or the lower half at least, and also this display stand, which is really super cool acrylic. I love that it has the same crisscross motif as the boxes and it's really cool then it even says obsession on there so very very cool in addition to all of that you also get these super cool boots now they zip up in the back thank goodness you don't have to lace all of that up but they're super cool you can see they have the little spaces in between but I will do some 360s so that we can see how those are gonna look. So because Varsity Luna comes with so many items, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna do a couple of 360s on her just so that you can see the different looks that you can get with this doll. So I wanted to show you that when you remove the shorts, it's actually a one-piece bodysuit underneath, which I think is super cool and of course again like I said it opens and closes in the back with the latches but a very cool feature to have. So here's the first look for Varsity Alejandra Luna and she is muy caliente. So as you can see I removed the bodysuit so that we could see the bikini top and of course we have those fabulous boots and look at those curls from behind. I also have her holding her sack lunch purse as well. I changed her hands out so that she can hold it herself with her grip hand. So let's go in and see Alejandra. And she's got her earrings on. And of course, you can see her ponytail. That dark blonde is really pretty against the Hungarian skin. And here is some detail with the bikini top and of course she's wearing the rings and the shorts and of course you want to see these boots right so let's take a look at these boots I love those zippers you can see the stud detail in the sack lunch purse and of course look at those boots thank goodness I did not have to tie any of those oh my goodness i would have been so upset would have taken me three weeks to finish this video i also wanted to show you like the pocket detail of the sleeve there's actually a pocket on the sleeve that's a pocket that you're looking at and her body looks really really good with this white 
bikini top on her. And I'm going to pull back just so you can see more of that ponytail. And in fact, you can see how it's tied with its own hair. And that is the first look for Varsity Luna, or Varsity Alejandra Luna. Here's the second look for Varsity Alejandra Luna. So as you can see, Alejandra Luna is obsessed with baseball. And I'm just gonna let her turn around so that you can see the entire outfit. It really is cute. It wasn't quite what I was expecting from the convention. But let's go in and see how cute. Let's see. You can see she's got the hat on and her ponytail comes out. She also has her jacket and her shorts and of course those cute curls. And of course those really cool boots. I put the bodysuit back on her as well and it gives it a different look. I like these pieces. I actually like them together. I'm just trying to figure out if was this worth 175? I mean, on one hand, yeah, for her, I don't know. What are your thoughts? A lot of people were disappointed with the whole sports theme when they thought obsession, they didn't think we were gonna get sports, but this is what we got. And that is the second look for Varsity Alejandra Luna. I would like to welcome our panel. First, I'd like to welcome top new face model and co-star of Reckless Behavior with Alejandra Luna, Reina Amati. Next, I'd like to welcome fashion icon and queen of Mattel, Barbie. And last but never least, Actress, model, singer, Alyssa Rodriguez. All right, panel, so I would like to know your thoughts on Varsity Alejandra Luna. I'm going to start with you, and I see that you have a note, and you say, Hopefully she can keep those boots clean while kneeling in dark alleys. <laughs> I'm sure you say that in jest, Reina. I know you don't want Alejandra to sue you. <laughs> Barbie, what are your thoughts on Varsity Alejandra Luna? And you have a note, and you say, I want to throw a baseball at her. <laughs> and Alyssa, what are your thoughts on Varsity Alejandra Luna? And you have a note, hmm. Wait a minute, and this note is addressed to me. Okay, and you say, you paid $175 and she came wearing this? No, no, she didn't. What a rough and shady panel. All right, well, thank you, panel. Now, I have to start off by saying, I really do like Varsity Alejandra Luna. She's certainly not what I expected from this convention, but honestly, I mean, if you're really honest, I mean, like the boots are really cool and the pieces themselves, like the bodysuit is really cool. I think the hat is interesting. Um, yeah, there's a lot. The sack lunch purse is to be super cool, but $175, I, I don't know. I don't know. I would expect a little bit more versatility or some more pieces or something for $175. Just my opinion. But otherwise, if I take the price like out of it from my head, then honestly, I really do actually like this doll. She's not one of my favorites from the convention, but I got her. I'm keeping her and I'm keeping her outfit too. So <laughs> all that to say, I actually did like this doll just didn't like the price. So if you like this video, and I hope that you did, then please make sure that you click the like button. That's how I know that you like my videos. 
Also, if you have not yet subscribed, I don't know why you haven't, but if you have not, then please make sure that you do today so that you get notified of when I come up with new videos like this one. So thanks again for watching and I hope you have a great day.